Hello viewers, here is a Holmes window fan. This is model HWF0910AT. And this is the model with the stinking electronic controls. I had this in the computer room in the back window this year and it kind of just runs all the time. I set it to low at 65 degrees and because the controls are kind of an annoyance I never really turn it off. It turns itself off if it gets too cold and that's good enough for the use case. But uh, I turned it off the other day because it was raining very heavily and I noticed prior to that it was making kind of a humming sound and then when I went to turn it back on it sounded like it had rocks in it. So I think it's time to take it in for service in a sense and see what we can do. Now if I can't get this to quiet down again I think I'm just going to replace it with one of the mechanical control ones because I have an extra one because I originally had two of them. I used one in the front window and one in the back window and then I gave one of them to my grandfather and I missed having it so I bought another one and then I found this one so this one's kind of extraneous I was using this one only because it's quieter on low speed than the mechanical control one. But of course the noise it makes is annoying. So the fact that it's quieter doesn't really matter anymore. I'd rather it be a little bit noisier and not be an annoying sound than be quieter but making an annoying sound. So let's demonstrate what we have here. It's not so bad on high, it's on low that it makes a noise. that's going to pick up on a video or not. It's only the right fan. The left fan is quiet. Okay, that was the left fan. And now this is the right fan. So, what we can do about that. I'm noticing the spin down time is a lot shorter on the right fan, though I don't think that should cause it to make such a humming sound. Okay, now we have to play games with these stupid clips again. Now oh, this one's already broken. Well, I'm not going to be too careful with it then if it's already broken. Eh, it broke a little more, but it was broken to begin with, so whatever. Oh, this one's broken too. Okay. Oh, that made that easy. Alright, so let's see. So this is the fan that's causing a problem. What I want to do is take the bolts off of here so we can get the blades off and then I want to run up the two motors without the blades on so we can get a better sound uh, of the motor itself. Okay. Cosmetically the motor looks okay. Of course cosmetics rarely tell the whole story. Okay, so there's definitely a change in the sounds here. So, let's see here. This this motor here is going to be our troublesome one on the left. Because now we're looking at the fan from the other direction.
This one definitely seems like it's louder. Uh, right now it's on high, let's go to low. Nope, it's still on high. Okay, it's, this is high. And this is low. Oh yeah, this one's definitely much, much stronger than this one. Hmm. Doesn't take much at all to stall this one. Okay, so there's definitely something not right about that motor. The bearings are definitely not as free in this van, but they're not really stiff. It almost seems like it may be a capacitor issue, though I suspect the capacitors are probably uh, there's only one that runs both motors. Uh, let's see here. It looks like it is one capacitor, but it's a uh, it's double sided, so potentially um, it is controlling it differently. Let's see. This is a two two and a half microfarads. I'm not convinced enough that it's the capacitor that I really want to spend the time changing this around but um, I tend to think it probably is I just noticed something which has completely deterred me from wanting to spend any time repairing this I noticed that the, the front of this control panel is getting quite warm and it looks like this resistor here gets so hot that it's starting to blacken the board. So I'm not going to repair this. I'm going to use it as it is and when it quits I'll replace it with a mechanical control one and probably not have any more problems. While I'm in here, I will give it some oil, but that's as far as I'm going to go with this. It's really a shame because these are decent little motors. Maybe what I'll do is when the control quits, not if it quits, when it quits, which I'm sure will probably be before the motors, perhaps I will um, redesign a new mechanical control system for it so that I can keep using it. Because these are these are PSC motors and the bearings are, are pretty good and they're reversible, which is becoming pretty uncommon. And I'd hate to toss them because of a stupid set of Chinese electronic controls. The bearings are so much happier now.
I don't expect the humming sound to be gone, but let's see how it runs now after it's been oiled. The hum is still there, perhaps just because this, no this room is a little bit louder than the computer room upstairs, but it doesn't seem like the hum is as prominent as it was before. Spin down here. Much, much better than it was. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. I'm going to keep using it as it is, and when that stinking electronic control board fails, I'll probably redesign some kind of mechanical control system because I really think the motors are pretty decent, and I'd hate to get rid of them over a Chinamatronic control.